All right. Saturday, March 26th at 930 in the morning. We're going to start here and have a sale, our annual 38th annual consignment auction. Uh, we'll have, uh, we'll do tools and trees and shrubs to start with. And then uh, we'll start to run two rings all day long, and then at 11 o'clock we'll start on big items, start on tractors and big equipment around 11 o'clock. So we'll keep a ring going on that, and a ring going on uh, uh, your small stuff all day long. So come on out and enjoy the day. Okay. I ordered it to be warm. I don't know if it's going to be. But uh, it's going to be chilly. That's what they claim. But that's all right because no one will want to do anything else. We'll all come here. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's too wet to do anything else. Too wet to do anything in the field, so we can get shape. I just hope it ain't got a foot and a half of snow on it like it did one time down I had here. That happened. Yep. But we uh, got leaf blowers now. See back then we have a broom. That's good. <laughs> we'll be all what's, right. What's the best thing you got here? The best thing we got. Oh, we got everything from McKenzie 2300 12 root planter to uh, uh, got some real good round balers. Got some real yeah. good some hay equipment, brakes. Got some. Uh, you got a big tractor. Big tractor, 7120 Magnum tractor. Uh, several smaller tractors. You know your little. Four and all that. Got yeah. an H and M or H and C. Got a real good plow. Got some real good wagons. Another big planter in the back. Yep. Got the XT 190 house tractor coming oh, at some good. point. And a Massey 255 diesel coming. Good. So yeah. Uh, all right. Good lineup coming in. Looking good. Well, I'll tell them about it. Got some good lawn mowers. Good runners. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. And then there's Levi. He Levi helps load. The loader man. I remember he just itty bitty thing. We'll be loading out. We'll be loading out after the sale on Saturday, and then of course Sunday, Monday, and no later than we have to Tuesday. So hope we can get it all out of here by Tuesday. And you have been known to some guy not pick up his combine the day before the next right. sale the next year later. I've had that happen. Wonder, but, who, wonder who did that. Well. He was a pretty good guy, and he didn't bother me none. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything with that spot anyway. All right. <laughs> That's enough. All right. Three bottom hauler plow come in. Two bottom John Deere. Big corn planter, round hay balers, hay rakes, hay vines. They do her hay balers, sprayers, hits, corn packers, wagons. Another baler. Plow, trailer, some grain augers, combine, 7120, little Ferguson. An old H farm all and a Super C farm all. This will all be full here in a couple of days. That'll be so full that you won't even be a place to walk. And wonder what they got out back. There's another big John Deere corn planter back there. There's a little old drag disc for a garden. garden. Got a bunch, some trailers. Bunch of tractor tires and wagons, and power racks, all kinds of things. The neighbor's big grain bin. Uh, here's a whole trailer load of antique things, and all kinds of whatever. Look here, a box full of stuff. Couple hundred starter switches for your M farm all. There's some. Hey Bob, you want to be on YouTube? All right. Air compressors and washers. There's a nice big trailer, a good heavy duty trailer over there. Yeah, we got some lawn mowers, some good ones. And different things. This will be piled full from way up there, all on the railroad track, clear down to there, sale day. And all kinds of odds and ends back here behind the building. That'll all be fuller. There'll be stuff, so much stuff here you can't find a place to walk. Looky there, they even got one of them things. 
Looks like a fiberglass prefab lawn building. Well, this is what they got in the building. Got some drill presses there and a welder and some toolboxes. Hay. Half full wagon here, it'll be full. Probably have to get another wagon load. And all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, um, there's old stuff, new stuff. Some guy brings in a lot of toolboxes, and most of them are full of tools. Some of them are Chinese tools, and some of the boxes have got good, good brand name stuff in them. There's some chainsaws. More boxes of tools. And oh whatever just all kinds of things all right it looks like the hay is dry too got some tables there i don't know what to do with them whether they might sell some of them or not all right There's a little red wagon, a little cream-colored wagon. Oh, that's about the end of it. Oh, there's a couple of some big boards. Now, while I'm here, I might as well show you some more stuff. I mean, a wood mower, cultivator, rock picker, a little tailor, broom, mow machine. Here's another load coming in. One of them rakes. Real, really nice air spreaders. And there's an older spreader. And there's a disc coming in. There's a YouTube man. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a YouTube preview. Yeah, I figured you were. What's the old spreader going to sell for? I've seen some of them bring like $1,500, $1,800 recently. All right.